I am Anil Kumar and the solution of question number 16 page 106 is for my students and I hope it will benefit some of the students on YouTube also. The function s of t equals to square root of t cube plus t square where t is greater than or equal to 0 represents the displacement s in meters of a particle moving along a straight line after t seconds. Determine velocity where t equals to 3. As you know, velocity is rate of change of displacement. So I could write velocity as s dash t. Now we are given s as square root of t cube plus t square. So we need to find derivative of this particular function with respect to t. So I'll write this as t cube plus t square. Square root, we'll write half so that we can use the power rule. Right now, this derivative is half of t cube plus t square to the power of half minus one, which is minus half times derivative of inside function. Right, so d dt of t cube plus t square that gives us one over. Let me rewrite this as square root of 10 to the power of minus half. That means plus t square right times the derivative here is 3t square plus 2t right place brackets otherwise you may do a mistake so that is the derivative of this function so we could write this as uh, 3t square plus 2t divided by 2 square root of t cube plus t square right now what do we need to find we need to find velocity at half right we need to find velocity at t goes to 3 that means velocity at 3 well I could have written this as vt I should have written right so velocity at 3 that will be derivative of displacement at t equals to 3 so we'll substitute 3 here right so what do we get so we get 3 times 3 square plus 2 times 3 divided by 2 square root of 3 cube plus 3 square, right? So that gives us 3 square is 9 times 3 is 27 plus 2 times 3 is 6 divided by 2 times square root of 27 plus 9, right? So you can actually use calculator at this stage and find the answer. So we have 33 divided by 2 square root of 36 which is 6 okay so that's good so we have 33 over 6 times 2 12 right and the units are meters per second so don't forget the units it is meters per second so that is your answer for the given question i hope that helps thank you